I lost about 200 million in Nigerian banks, bought 200 million naira worth of shares and then sell it for 30 million. One of the most common investment choices people make is putting their money into the bank. Trust me, this is actually one of the worst moves towards financial freedom in our 21st century. Think about it, while your money is sitting in your bank account, probably earning you minimal or no interest at all, the value of other financial investment options has skyrocketed. Do you want to know one major asset all millionaires or billionaires of time past and of our generation are all holding in common? And why are they holding it? In this video, we are going to challenge everything you thought you knew about safe investments. We will break down why bank shares are becoming obsolete and why this asset is rapidly becoming one major valuable asset you must own in Nigeria today. And also in this video, you will understand some in the downside of the traditional investment. Let's start with the harsh truth. You might think investing in bank shares is a safe bet, but in reality, it's a sinking ship. Do you know, with the continuous rising of digital banking and fintech companies, traditional banking is constantly under pressure. Banking is becoming less profitable, which definitely results in lower dividend for that shareholders. I lost about 200 million in Nigerian banks bought 200 million naira worth of shares and they didn't sell it for 30 million. And I'm not talking of uh, wonder banks. I'm talking of the ones that are in existence today. Today. And every time their shares go down, the, the MDs and founders go up. How come? Another banking investment options you may consider is probably opening a fixed deposit account with a bank where you get to earn annoying interest on your deposits. If you want to be a super rich individual, this is not the path for you to follow. To be fucking serious, banking investment options are notoriously known for low return on investment. This is how the bank fools you. They made you to blend or force you to bring your money to them. By lobbying financial regulators to see there is too much money in circulation, which is one of the causes of inflation. Upon lending your money to the bank, they promise you safety on your investment at a ridiculous interest well why your money may be saved from physical robbers the bank is actually robbing you of something more and open you to more potential risks and this is it let's say you deposit one million with the bank with a single interest rate of return on the investment and inflation is rising or inflation is at double digit as of when you receive back your investment well, you may receive more in what you deposited at the initial point, but in reality, you have lost a greater portion of your money because of the processing power. What your one million naira could purchase one year ago with inflation at a single digit can no longer purchase the same item today with inflation on double digit. Now, let's talk about what the ultra wealthy are investing in. The richest people in the world are buying vast amounts of farmland. The likes of Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Tony Elumelu, including the Africa richest man down with him. In fact, without excluding your presidents and your governors. May I ask a question? Who is the richest landlord or the landowner in Africa? I guess you already know that. Why? Because they know something that you don't. Land is a lifelong asset with a guaranteed demand unless when there is a war or a major crisis. That's only when the value of your land can depreciate. This is not just a trend, it is a strategic move to ensure and grow your wealth. Land can guarantee you possibly an annual return of over 15% on your initial investment. That's the kind of return that bank shares or fixed deposits can only dream of. You know, so land continues to bring prosperity to you. What, I mean, today, I'm, uh, I've sold almost all my 900 acres. There was a time. I bought just 30 acres there for less than a million. That 30 acres was sold for something like 100 million. Nothing can give you that kind of uh, uh, return. But what makes land such a profitable investment and why now is the perfect time for you to jump into it? Stick around because we are going to review why not investing in land today could be one of the biggest investments regrets of tomorrow anybody who does not invest in lagos now will regret in 10 years time because okay. some of us regretted not responding to lagos on time if you think land prices are too high today truly a plot of land may be expensive now 
But if you fail to invest now, it might cost you 10 times more in a few years' time. The demand of land is increasing because Nigeria population is increasing and the funding stuff is Nigeria land and size is not increasing. The housing deficiency will keep increasing. Land is not like other investment portfolio that are affected by inflation or the value of a country currency up and down. Do you wonder why landed properties are not often depreciated in balance sheets? Secondly, why land becomes a major asset you must own in Nigeria? There is an increased interest from international investors. The Asians are tired of America and Europe. They are trooping into Africa and one major destination is Nigeria because of the Nigeria market. The truth is, the value of land will keep appreciating. When you get a good land in a strategic place, it will outperform any other investment option like stock or bond. The real estate is the only estate that is real. Why? Because stocks are volatile and unpredictable and has no edge against inflation and country devaluation. When you own a land, you are not just owning a piece of property, you are owning a piece of the future. Now, you might be thinking owning a land is complicated and expensive. The truth is, owning a land can be surprisingly simple. When you invest in properties with minimal upkeeping in a place with potential future developments, for example, purchasing undeveloped plots can offer significant return without the need for intensive management or maintenance. Land don't move, land doesn't die, land doesn't shift. Land, you may not even need to cut the grass. But because of the location, it changes your allocation. <laughs> you don't need to worry about tenants, building repairs, or property management fee for those who want a just in and of investment with the potential for just substantial gain. Secure a right plot of land in a strategic place and you could let it sit on touch and still watch the value of your assets rise. But owning a land is more than just a long-term investment strategy. You can turn your land into a passive income stream almost immediately. In the next segment, we'll dive into some monetization strategy that will have your land working for you from the day one. Stay tuned. Owning the land don't just have to be about waiting for its value to appreciate. There are numerous ways to make your land work for you right away. One of the smartest strategies is listen. Imagine you have acquired a large piece of farmland or an empty plot. Instead of letting it sit idle, you can lease it out for grazing, farming rights, or even a company looking for a space. This approach not only provides you with a steady stream of passive income, but also ensures that your land is being utilized to its full potential. Think about it. Your land could be generating you money while you're sleeping or without lifting a finger. And it doesn't stop there. If you are rich enough, with the current power law, you can explore renewable energy or raise building for rent. And you need to understand that the possibilities are endless and the return can be substantial. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the downside and the risks. Like any other investments, buying land isn't without a potential downside. You could face challenges like property tax, zoning law, or environmental restriction, depending on your country or location. Now, let's not forget about the upfront cost, which could be significant depending on your location or on the, on the size of the property you are buying. But here is the real kicker. Most of these risks can be mitigated with proper due diligence and smart decision making by conducting thorough investigation of the property you are about to acquire and also doing the diligence to understand the real estate market and consulting widely from different professionals can help you or could help you avoid these challenges and get to explore the benefits of this industry. So there you have it all. Before going into any investment, make sure you do the diligence to understand where you're putting your money into. Remember the choice you make today will definitely define your financial future. If you find this video valuable, make sure to like, share and subscribe 